Anyone with arachnophobia better leave the room now. This is not for the faint of heart. For those who remained, ever wondered why spiders are so dang freaky? Well, better clench up, because today we're taking a deep dive into 20 of the world's deadliest spiders. Number 20. Goliath Bird Eater Spider Creeping its way into the first spot on this list, this is the Goliath Bird Eater Spider. It's truly a walking nightmare because it's huge! So huge, in fact, that it's the world's biggest spider. It's a foot long, and I'm sure you wouldn't want to get up close and personal with this thing. Let's talk about the natural behavior of this bad boy. It is an arachnid that stalks a lot of jungles on the north side of South America. And don't let the name fool you. They do eat birds, but their diet mostly consists of rats, frogs, smaller insects, and other unlucky animals smaller than it. See that rat? Don't blink! What happens next is horrifying. Yes sir, that's what happens when they hunt. They're ambush hunters, they don't use webs like normal spiders do, and their bite is lethal to anything about their size. Their bite contains a deadly neurotoxin that's sure to slip its prey into the abyss. Luckily, this neurotoxin isn't relatively deadly to humans, but it will sting like hell. In the case that they will fight something bigger than them, they will also scratch their legs and hide together, making a hissing noise, and it spreads out their hairs that can be massively irritating once it makes contact with the skin. See, aren't you thankful that you aren't the size of a mouse? Because if you were, chances are you'd be eaten by freaks like these. Number 19. The Brazilian Wandering Spider the Goliath Bird Eater might be the biggest spider on the planet, but have you met one of the most venomous spiders on the planet? It's not as infamous as the legendary Black Widow, but the Brazilian wandering spiders certainly don't pull their punches when it comes to biting. Before they do take a bite, click the like and subscribe buttons if you're liking the video so far. This small gesture goes a long way for our channel. Alright, back to this little terror. These nasty little critters can deliver a bite loaded with neurotoxin that can quickly shut down breathing and heart activities. And as an added bonus, the bite is insanely painful. You'll be screaming, writhing, and kicking in pain. And the next thing you know, well, you won't know, because you'll be gone by then. This extremely potent venom is used by the wandering spider to get a sure shot meal with just one bite. They use this fearsome weapon to hunt down prey, mostly up to the size of a mouse, but they won't hesitate biting humans. If you're ever in South America, keep an eye for these eight-legged murderers, because they're almost everywhere, and you'll have little time to fight back the venom once you're bitten. Number 18. Black Widow Spider This is probably the most well-known venomous spider out there. This creepy crawly is so famous, it got a solo Marvel movie from its reputation. Also, at least that's where the name comes from. Yes, I'm talking about the Black Widow Spider. The red hourglass on the female's belly is a well-known warning to any creature spotting it, considering a bite from the female can cause death to humans. The female is a hard-working hunter, webbing up to a certain angle so that it could cover many spots. This process takes from hours to days even. Once the trap is done, and then some unlucky idiot sticks to her trap, it's dinner time. She takes the first bite so that she can seal the fate of her prey. By that, I mean she bites with her notorious venom, which paralyzes the prey, and honestly sends them with one foot in the grave. Then, she wraps it around like a little white burrito. After that, it's bottoms up. No, literally. She spits digestive juices onto her prey, then slurps up all those juicy melted body parts. What a gruesome end! The female is a bona fide legend among venomous creatures around the world, while the males aren't so great. They're 30 times lighter than the female, and they're a quarter smaller. They're also less venomous, but the real downer occurs during mating season. Around this time, females release a pheromone so that they can attract males to mate. This is one of the worst times for a female, because males can get insanely greedy. They come up to the female's web, and they trash it! It's to block the other males' access to their selected females, but it doesn't end there. They also slowly approach the female, and you hear that tapping? That's not tapping, actually. They're actually marking the female with their own scent and pheromones. Man, the males are jerks! But nature comes full circle, because at least once in a blue moon, they can get eaten by their own wives. I won't judge their mating habits. After that, the cycle of life is done because the female lays her eggs. 
Man, eating your date is more common in the bug world than you think, huh? Number 17. Brown Widow Spider From the best known to the not really well known, this is the Black Widow Spider's lesser known cousin, the Brown Widow Spider. Yes, from the name itself, you'll know why it's named like that. The Brown Widow's most distinct features are the brown stripes on its legs. It's not as striking as its cousin, but hey, maybe that's the point. The Brown Widow is more akin to a common house spider, if anything. Their bites can be painful, but not lethal. Not to mention, they're smaller than the Black Widow. So where's the advantage of this spider? Well, strength in numbers. You see, there's somewhere of an observation going around that the Brown Widow is multiplying faster than the Black Widow. Mind you, they live in almost the same places, the south of the USA and South America. This is a good thing because there's also sightings of brown widows being insanely aggressive towards black widows, driving them out of their homes and whatnot. Why is this good? Well, the brown widows are way more toned down than the black widows in terms of venom. That means less people will be involved in casualties the more the brown widows take over. Yes, they're less popular and way less stronger than their fearsome cousins, but if they are actually weeding out the Black Widows and their reign of lethality on people, hey, that's gotta be a good thing in my book. Number 16. Brown Recluse Spider Here comes another brown spider, only this time it trumps both the Widow Spiders and it's a rival to the Brazilian Wandering Spider in terms of Venom lethality. Of course, I'm talking about the Brown Recluse Spider. Again, the bite doesn't cause death, but it can cause serious damage. It's gonna be a painful and disgusting sight to see for any victim, but that's only a rare chance, thankfully. Despite their feared reputation, these eight-legged freaks actually try to avoid humans, hence the recluse part of the name. They also get their reputation for the fact that, despite their size, they're relatively common in America. They like to hang around in the weirdest of crevices, which includes forests, buildings, and even your own clothes. The last part is probably the reason why these spiders end up biting a lot of people. There's also the reason why most bites occur on the body, the legs, and of course, the feet. That's probably your cue to wash your clothes properly to shake them off, because who knows what nightmares hide in your favorite Nirvana t-shirts. Number 15. Six-Eyed Sand Spider this next spider is quite the rare breed. In fact, it's only known to be found in Africa of all places. Enter the Six-Eyed Sand Spider. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider are relatively small creatures, only about less than the size of an average adult hand. Of course, this small stature plays into its hunting tactics. This spider utilizes ambush hunting tactics, but it goes one step above. It buries itself in the sand, hence its name, and once it gets a feel for something approaching, bang! Whatever that lucky schmuck of a creature now has just gotten bitten with a necrotic venom, meaning that venom causes wounds to fester, rot, and easily infect. Imagine a bite that can turn wounds into horror movies. Do note that this bite isn't lethal to humans, but it will be a pain. If you're ever in Africa, try not to underestimate the sand. Who knows what six-eyed freaks lurks under there? Number 14. Chilean Recluse Spider We've met the brown recluse spider, but now we'll meet its less infamous cousin, the Chilean Recluse Spider. Pick your poison for this one, because it can be found in color ranges of brown and orange, which makes it somewhat hard to tell from its cousin. The Chilean Recluse Spider behaves much like its cousin. You know the drill. Building a web, ambushing prey, biting them with venom, and of course, turning the poor victim's organs into slurpy. Speaking of venom, the one on this spider is necrotic, and it's not outwardly lethal to humans, but if not given the proper medical attention, it can be. The bite causes an infestation, and basically invites all sorts of bacteria and viruses into your body. Ironically, it's actually highly recommended that, if someone gets bitten, they better capture the culprit and bring it along with the patient to better identify them for the administration of antivenom. The reason being that this spider's venom is highly dangerous, so it's not toying around when someone gets bitten by one of these things. It's really advised to be careful in rural areas in South America. Lots of nasties are just waiting in the dark, biding their time for their next gruesome victim. Number 13. Northern Funnel Web Spider 
Australia is already the home of some of the most dangerous creatures in the world. Whether it's the largest snakes or even the smallest creatures, this continent is a hellish landscape for breeding the deadliest animals. And the deadliest Aussie animal on this rank is the Northern Funnel Web Spiders. A little background on the funnel web spiders. They're all notorious for bringing a lot of harm to the human race thanks to their infamous venom that's well known in the medical field. Rest assured that a bite from any of these suckers can end someone. These little nightmares are home to mostly the underground in almost any place with soil, whether it's jungle soil or even your neighbor's garden. Not to mention, yes, they're ambush predators like most spiders, but unlike most spiders, they make their web nests mostly underground, so not only do they propagate their numbers hidden from most sight, but they can also snag prey without noticing it. If the snagging doesn't work, I hope you'll have a lot of stamina, because these little buggers are fast runners. The popular rumor is that these guys can jump, but that's just an urban legend. And for the last thing about these guys, the venom. Their venom is a cocktail of different toxins mixed together as a result of a robust evolution that these guys have gone through. A bite from this venom can result in hysteria and then an early grave. Luckily, thanks to the research of scientists, anti-venom is the way to combat the venom and it's getting more and more abundant. Although don't get too cocky despite the existence of anti-venom. I don't know about you, but I still wouldn't risk getting a bite from these speedy bioweapons. Number 12. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider Nope, we're not leaving Australia yet. Remember when I said that the Funnel Web Spiders are infamous for having a family of venomous monsters? Well, the Sydney Funnel Web Spider is probably the most notorious out of the bunch. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider has the characteristics of the previously mentioned Northern Funnel Web Spider, but this one is a contender for the world's deadliest spider venom. Listen, ranking the most venomous of all venoms is a bit of a mixed bag thanks to its mixed criterias. Some say it's the Brazilian wandering spider, while others say it's this one. Whatever the case is, it just makes the Sydney Funnel Web Spider's reputation all the more notorious. This spider is known to be immensely dangerous. Apart from the previously mentioned Funnel Web Spider's traits, it's now armed with a world record breaking venom. A bite can result in a grim fate, but to counteract that, researchers have begun making spider farms in order to raise, study, and make anti-venom from their own venom. Despite these efforts, people still fall to these spiders' stealthy tactics. Next time you're with your mates in Australia, and you're turning over rocks and dead logs, think twice. Who knows what record breaker is under that rock? Number 11. Wolf Spider this isn't another member of the funnel web spider family, but it can sure act like one. The wolf spider really lives up to its name. It ambushes, pounces, and chases prey, and not to mention, it's literally the lone wolf type. The spider is usually found in small, open burrows that they dug themselves. Since they live alone and do not hunt in packs like actual wolves, they have to make the most of their stealthy antics. They'll snatch prey from the underground, and if they get away, don't underestimate these things. They can run really fast for short distances, able to close the gap and finally finish the job with their venom. Of course, the hot topic about spiders is their venom lethality. Safe to say that the venom of this spider isn't lethal to humans, but it can give sickness and rotting wounds if not attended to. These are specialized spiders, meaning their venom is really only for creatures within their size class. So what's to fear about these guys? Well, they're everywhere. They're found globally, and that's just ironic considering they're the lone wolf types. Despite their global presence though, USA South Carolina is trying to make them their official state spider. If they're successful, then the wolf spider is probably the only state spider I would know of. Number 10, the red-legged widow spider. Oh boy, another one of the widow species. I guess anyone sporting a strikingly red design in the animal kingdom has some degree of danger to almost anyone or anything. It might be a distant cousin of the more well-known Black Widow, but it's also quite the weaker version in comparison. Despite the striking red coloration found all over its body, you'd think that it would be somewhat of a roided version of the Black Widow, right? But, as it turns out, these spiders don't really pose that much of a threat to humans, of course, Unless you get bitten by a lot of them at the same time, then you're done for. 
The red-legged widow spider, or the red widow spider for short, only wears the modified black widow spider costume as a bit of a palette swap. In reality, it behaves like any normal garden spider. It spins up webs, traps unlucky brainlets in them, and slurps them up like a sponsored soft drink. The thing about Red Widows is that they're usually found in Florida. And oh my, for anyone in Florida, I hope these nasty little things don't swarm up your home. Who knows what kind of schemes these little buggers are pulling up in Florida. Number 9. Redback Spider Guess we're still covering the Widow family in this next one, and it's another red one! Listen, red is a very striking colour in the natural world. It often signifies danger, and these animals are really putting it to good use. The redback spider, or the Australian black widow, is really a spitting image of the well-known black widow spider. The only difference is that instead of an hourglass shape that you'd find in the black widow, the redback just has a stripe, which is where its name comes from. Although being a lesser-known cousin of the Black Widow, do not underestimate this spider. Its venom is known to be in the lethality levels of the funnel web spiders, so that's really saying something. In other words, if you get bitten by one of these, it's either you take the anti-venom, or you're toast. Other than the venom, the nifty thing about these spiders is that they already have a sticky web to trap their prey, but they also secrete a fluid that acts like glue and puts the unlucky victim into a sticky situation. But just like the Black Widow, the females are much bigger, scarier, and more dominant than their male counterparts. Number 8. Solfuge, Camel Spider now this next one is a bit of a peculiar subject. In reality, he's just a little boy wanting to be left alone. Meet the Solfuge, or the Camel Spider. Now there's a ton of misnomers in the animal kingdom, and the Camel Spider is one of them. It's neither a camel, or even a spider. Not even a scorpion. It's a unique arthropod that's one of a kind. This little guy has a special distinction between true spiders and scorpions. The camel spider lives in hot deserts and likes to hunt insects and other creatures smaller than it. No, it does not have a venomous bite, although it does have a unique set of mandibles that allow it to grind its prey into paste. See, other than the appearance of this creature, there's a lot of myths going on about it. The camel spider does not bite and eat camels, nor does it actually chase people down and devour them. Heck, they only chase people for their shadow. Little buddy's gotta stay cool under this intense heat. Not to mention, their mandibles are also very adept at digging holes, which they use to stay cool. Safe to say that this bug isn't really a threat to anything bigger than it. Like the rest of us, he's just trying to get by. Number 7. Fringed Ornamental Tarantula And now we're back to our regularly scheduled true spiders. Yes, yes, this next one is a tarantula, but there's something about this one that makes it rather adorable. The fringed ornamental tarantula is like any other tarantula out there, except they're absolutely killing it with their style. Look at their beautifully striped hides. These little guys should construct a walkway with their web because they're absolutely fabulous. Speaking of webs, despite their heavy appearance, these tarantulas make funnel webs in and or out of trees to catch mostly flying insects. And once something is caught, you know the drill. Bite, inject venom, then slurp. On the topic of venom, it's not lethal to humans, so you can breathe in relief now. However, this doesn't mean it isn't painful. Reports say it stings like hell, so I'd still be careful. Now for the adorable part about these tarantulas. In order to protect their eggs better, the tarantula employs mutualism with smaller frogs. The frog gets to eat the ants that would potentially eat the tarantula's eggs, and the tarantula gets to raise their babies with ease. In fact, the tarantula even protects the smaller frog from predators. Talk about an unlikely friendship! Number 6. Red-Headed Mouse Spider Oh boy, this next one looks pretty risky. The red-headed mouse spider is common in jungle floors, which makes them all the more dangerous. The three-headed mouse spider is a sizable predator. Its name comes from either three things. The fact that it may live in burrows like they were made originally by mice, the unclear observation that the female might resemble a mouse, or the fact that they eat mice. Whichever it is, tread lightly in the forests of Australia, because that's where these buggers are usually found. And they utilize the ambush tactics of the trapdoor spider. 
meaning they hide underneath a thin cover that once it detects prey to be near or stepping directly on the cover, surprise, it's dinner time. Also, it has the common eating habits of most venomous carnivorous spiders. Bite, venomize, suck. Oh yeah, this is also venomous. What's weird is that the Sydney Funnel Web Spider's anti-venom works on the venom of these guys, but they're not actually just as venomous as the Sydney Funnel Web, meaning that the bite may be absurdly painful, but it's not really lethal to humans. Although surprising is that, if you ever get bitten by any of these underground freaks, it's best to quickly put a band-aid on it and not to clean the wound. This would help in quickly identifying the venom and treating it. It's not the most original spider on this list, but you can't help but feel a bit scared looking at its pudgy fangs. Number 5. Hobo Spider No, this next spider isn't homeless and doesn't live out on the streets begging for spare change. This spider is also a bit unoriginal, but that might just aid in your confusion. The hobo spider is really something that lives up to its name. It lives where people usually reside, and those places most likely have old wood around the building. Hobo spiders simply just love living in old, dead wood. And just like the camel spider, there was a big rumor floating around before that the hobo spider delivers one of the most painful bites ever. Well, thanks to actual scientific research, that rumor has since been scrubbed. You see, the hobo spiders are a part of the funnel web spider family. Yes, that means that the Sydney funnel web might be their distant cousin, but they don't exactly have the same venom. In fact, in most tests, the venom can be barely felt. It's only on rare occurrences that the venom actually is painful. Lethality aside, these little gits propagate really well thanks to the abundance of homes that have wood in them. So there might not be the deadliest spider, but it will still creep out a lot of people if they find out that a number of these spiders live just up their ceilings. Guess they aren't really the type to pay rent, huh? Number 4. Yellow Sack Spider Yeesh! Just look at those mandibles! And to top it off, the colors are very vivid, meaning it's probably telling you to get out of its sight, or you might just suffer an agonizing bite. You know what the kicker is? These yellow numpties are considered house spiders. That's right, the yellow sack spider is just a robust version of the hobo spider. This one really takes the cake of being an upgrade. Their fangs are notoriously bigger. It's the prime time to talk about almost any spider's most feared feature, the venom. The venom on the yellow sack is mildly dangerous to any human, but don't let that distinction fool you. Do bear in mind that these can possibly live in your home, and there's about 212 subspecies of these things found all over the globe. If you're not careful with what you touch in your home, this yellow terror might just give your bloodstream a visit, because if it can't end you with a single bite, let's just say that there's more where that came from. Number 3. Catipo We're never really gonna run out of widow spider family members, are we? Well, I hope you got room for one more. This is a catapo, a widow spider that's native to New Zealand. Just like all widow spider family members, they have the two distinctions, venom and the edgy marks on their bodies. Unlike the North American black widow spider, the catapo has a spear-like shape on its abdomen instead of a red hourglass shape. Now let's talk about venom. Ironically, this particular widow spider is quite shy to bite, as it will only do so if it has been thoroughly harassed. The biter may be shy, but the bite itself isn't. It is described as a sensationally strong feeling of total anguish, ergo the screaming in pain sort of bite. The only good side to this bite is that it can be mildly venomous to humans, unlike the Black Widow itself, which is just straight up hell on earth. Of course, the treatment of this bite needs anti-venom, but if it's out of reach for a time being, a cold compress of ice may help in easing the pain just a bit. I wouldn't worry about biting though, because these little guys are actually endangered. This spider is a rare sight, even in its native habitat of New Zealand, so you can rest easy if you're ever in the vicinity. Number 2. Cupboard Spider Alright, I swear this is the last widow spider on this list. Man, they're really everywhere at this point. The cupboard spider is another widow spider, but hold your horses, this one is far less dangerous. Another name for this fellow is the false black widow, mainly because people mistake it for its more infamous cousin. But that's not the case. 
Now, the venom of this is not a threat. It's a pinching pain that only lasts a short while, but it should still receive medical attention so that the symptoms won't worsen. The kicker about this particular widow spider is that it's mostly found all over the world. Maybe that's why it's named the Cupboard Spider. Probably because of the people experiencing it by finding it in cupboards. Guess that's a new anxiety found for you. Opening a cupboard and fearing that an eight-legged freak will jump on your face. Number one, Giant Huntsman Spider. And now for our finale holder. No, it's not another widow spider, but this one is truly a beast to be feared. Discovered only in 2001, the Goliath Bird Eater might be the biggest spider in terms of mass, but if we're counting legs, it's none other than the Giant Huntsman Spider. As if common Huntsman Spiders aren't already big enough, now we've got one the size of a dinner plate. This giant has only found in Laos so far, and lives in dark caves. Because of those, they've developed a wide array of hunting tools. Their eyesight is exceptional, even in the pitch black darkness, and their legs are super sensitive. It can feel the smallest pitter patters on the cave walls that it's perched on. Once a prey is located, it's time for the hunt. With the expert use of the previously named tools, it's dinner time for this huntsman. And of course, the venom. The giant huntsmen, like all huntsman spiders, have paralyzing venom, locking their victims in place. But what about humans? Well, they're not lethal to humans, but you'll still get some pain and swelling from it. A fearsome stalker in the dark, you'd think that its immense size wouldn't impede its stealthy hunting tactics, but nope, their size just makes them all the more nightmarish. Check your clothes and your body parts, you might have a couple of stragglers on you. After that freaky ordeal, which of these spiders is sure to haunt your dreams tonight? Let us know in the comments below if you're not sleeping tonight. If you want to see more of our videos, make sure to check out the videos in the cards now. And remember, don't get bitten out there, folks. Anyway, this is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.